Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you live Serie A action. It's coming right up. It's Brescia up against Inter. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertaining end-to-end -end football. Magnani. Donnarumma. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. The initial 11 today for the hosts. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. That's a very impressive piece of defending. News of a goal in the Parma match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Parma. 11 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Must score! There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power. He's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. The opening goal of the game then. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Messino. Giving the ball away. De Sena has it. Sandro Tonali. Parotelli. They've lost it. Martinez. Lukaku. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily well here it is again it looks a simple goal he gets in a position not that far out from goal but he has to hit the target he does that and it's in the back of the net So 2-0 now. Politano. Ranocchia. Barella has it. Martinez. 
Going well. Top-notch tackle. Asino. Very quick thinking there. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a goal! Almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, as we see it again, it always boils down to technique, free kicks. And look at that technique. It doesn't get any better. Simple as that. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, 2-1 it is here. Ndoy. Sandro Tonali. Joao Mario, Skriniar, Inter totally controlling possession, but after that it's been really disappointing, players are looking at each other, you've got to take control, you've got to take responsibility yourself, make something happen in this game. Varela has it, Martinez, wonderful block. Well, let's go to Alan McAnally now, because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Verona game. Alan. It's a goal for Verona. 38 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, a fine block. Donnarumma. Playing with purpose and control. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. It's with Fraser. Fraser. And with it, Joao Mario. Barella has it. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Morosini. Sabelli and Doy into the advanced position. Magnificent read, fine tackle. And the managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, I think Mario Balotelli ought to be. Exciting second half in prospect, and it's Inter who kick off this half. It's with Stefan de Frey, Joao Mario, Lukaku. And options in the centre. Taking care of business defensively here. Well, more live action from Serie A for you to look forward to. It's Brescia, and they take on Verona. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Shot attempted, and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that.
They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. More football from Serie A coming up here on EA TV. It's Inter against Bologna. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. And Alan McAnally can tell us about a change to the scoreline in the Genoa game. Alan. It's a goal for Genoa. 59 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Sabelli. Barotelli, and he takes it on. Tremendous block. Alfredo Donnarumma. He's going forward well here. Good tackle. Martinez. Barella has it. Vecino on the ball. Martinez. Politano. Barella has it. Martinez. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Plattered away. Well, let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Lazio game. Alan. It's another goal for Lazio. 68 minutes played. 4-1. Many thanks, Alan. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Joao Mario. Fraser. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Can they trouble the opposition this time? He's got to score! Well, it's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? 